Cool, we should be live. Nice, all right, so welcome back to another stream, guys. Today we're gonna to be doing some Kahoot. Let's just go ahead and wait for people to join. Nice, so this is my second day in a row streaming. Honestly, I'm pretty excited. I do want to stream more often. I hopefully want to stream at least like once or at least a couple times a week, but we'll see how that holds up. So what's up? We have Star, Fan, Roy. What's up, Roy? Thank you for tuning in. Roy is a member of the channel. We have Tony, Lewis, Taco, Winter. Wow, a lot of you guys joined at once. What's up? Hello, hello. Wow, this is uh, Devil, uh, Ruben, Jid. What's up? What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to another live stream. We did a live stream yesterday. We are doing another one today. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Uh, today or tonight, I guess we're gonna be running some Kahoot. We did this like a couple of streams ago. I'm not sure if you guys remember. We did it like maybe like a month, month and a half ago. But we were doing some like Museum of Science Kahoots, and you guys enjoy, enjoyed that a lot. So we're gonna be doing that again today. So I wish I was there yesterday. Yeah, it was a fun time. But don't worry, I'll be streaming more often. So. Here, let's go ahead and jump right in. What Kahoot do you guys want to do? What stands out to you here? I think a lot of these are available to play for like free, which is really cool. Or you can play them without like an account. So let's go ahead and play some. I think the last time we did this, we did a bunch of space Kahoots, but we also have a bunch of other categories as well. We can do weather, constellations, asteroids, uh, blizzards. Just uh, tell me what you guys want to do. Post it in the stream chat and we'll go ahead and begin in a couple seconds here. So humans in space. I'm seeing a lot of space biology. All right. Well, website, uh, once the Kahoot, I think the website is going to be kahoot.it slash like some code or actually it's just going to be kahoot.it. And then you type in the code. So, uh, the asteroids shout out, shout out to win beast. Thank you so much for tuning in animals logos. Are there logos here? Here, let me scroll through a little bit more. So we have climate, weather, we have matter. We have a bunch just about Mars. Interestingly enough, Resources, engineering, women in STEM, sensing our climate, data science and AI, oceans, plants, animals. There are a bunch here. So what do you guys want to do? Okay, here, let's go ahead and do some space. I think space is usually like the most popular one. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, narrow it down to three for us. So we can do space volcanoes, humans in space, or constellations. What do you guys want to do? Space volcanoes, humans in space, or constellations? Go ahead and post your thoughts in the stream chat. So let's see what you guys want to do. Matter, uh, space. Okay, so I'm going to wait a couple seconds for you guys to, for the stream to catch up here. Constellations. I'm seeing a handful of constellations. Humans in space, humans, humans, humans in space. Okay, I think humans in space is the winner here. So let's go ahead and begin. And let's do continue as guest. And let's wait for this game to begin. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and have to hide myself. Let me just do uh, play as guest. Let's do classic mode. And here is the... Wait for the pin. All right, so the pin is 387-7282. I'm going to go ahead and hide here so you guys can actually join and you guys can see all of the... Uh, Answer choices once they pop up. All right, so we have Nico. Nico was the first one to join. Let's go ahead and wait until this hits maybe like 100 players or so. Here we have, okay, a lot of you guys are joining all at once. Awesome. Can you send a link in the chat? The link is kahoot.it. It's right over here. I can paste it in the chat as well. This is actually so funny. So whenever I pull up the Kahoot game, the chat just absolutely like just freezes as you guys are joining the game it's so funny to see like nobody is sending messages right now because everyone is joining the game okay so we have 200 players let's go to 250 and then i'll go ahead and start i don't want to okay maybe we can go to 300 i guess all right interesting so this is still going on 276 at 300 i'm gonna press start all right we are 290 and there we go start i'm sorry if you guys are gonna join the game but let's see, humans in space, three, two, one. All right, so I think it starts off with like a little video clip. We don't really have to watch it. We just need to do, uh, need to do the questions. So multi-select, which of these do all animals need to survive? Select all that apply. Food, water, shelter, fire. Go ahead and put your uh, 
votes in. Please shout out, shout out to Amelia. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so we have over 100 answers already. That was pretty fast. And if you guys, you guys can't see, wait, what can't you see? Um, by the way, if you guys want to join the game, uh, next round, once again, the URL is kahoot.it. I think you can also join mid-game, so you can still put in the pin. So, yeah, we have well over 300 answers right now. We have 27 seconds left. Uh, here we go. Oh, Doug, thank you so much for joining the channel, channel membership. I really do appreciate it. And guys, I will be doing some members-only live streams very soon. So if you guys want to become a channel member, go ahead and uh, feel free to join. Roy, well, uh, congrats, Roy. You have now been a member for one month. That's so awesome to see. Roy is actually one of the earliest members on this channel. So zero seconds. All the Wow, we have... Uh, a lot of you guys got it correct. So there were three, uh, three of these answer choices were correct. And 37 people chose fire. I'm glad that not too many of you guys chose that. And let's click on next. Who is in the leaderboard? There we go. Go Hard the Go is uh, number one on the leaderboard. We love to see it. Neil in second place. Scormble, Kev, Colin. Congrats, guys. You are in the top five. Let's head over to the next question. Multi-select once again. Let's see what we got. Why is it important that animals have shelter? Select all that apply. Did I do the humans in space one? It's like an animal one, I guess, but hopefully you guys don't mind. It's still pretty fun. Our four options are to protect them from the elements like snow or extreme heat, to give them a place to play, to keep them fed and hydrated, or to hide them from predators or other animal threats. What do you guys think the answer is? Katie is asking, Gohar, how's your day been? It's been pretty good so far. I've been having a good day. Did a lot of filming. I uh, have a lot more filming to do, but hopefully I can go to bed by like 1 a.m. tonight. That's honestly the goal. Okay, a lot of these answers are coming through. Shout out to uh, Pafingo. Thank you so much for tuning in. Almond, I appreciate you. Uh, Blood, Blood Drummer, thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you. It's Nish, shout out to you. Everyone wants a shout out right now, so here we go. As you guys are putting in the answer choices, I'll go ahead and give some shout outs. So what do you guys? It's, uh, it's Nish. Username, uh, Jemai, thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so here we go. We have two correct answer choices here uh, to protect them from the elements and to hide them from predators. And a lot of you guys got that correct, so we love to see it. Let's go ahead and see who is in the leaderboard. Go Hard the Goat, still in first place. Neil, Scornbull, still top three. Jimmy and seventh grade MIT uh, now just joined the leaderboard. And congrats to Bacon for climbing up 120 spots. Okay. Also, thank you so much for a yellow, yellow, yellow for joining the channel membership. I really do appreciate you. And Roy, uh, Roy just gifted one GoHarkon membership. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. So Roy just, I didn't know you could actually do that. So Roy just gifted another uh, viewer a membership. That's so awesome to see. Thank you so much, Roy. Really do appreciate it. Okay, next question is a slider question. How many humans have landed on the two planets closest to Earth, Venus and Mars? All right, this question, I hope everyone gets this question correct. Uh, I feel like some of these questions are like super, super easy, but that, that's a good thing, right? Because then it's just like a matter of speed. And I feel like it makes things like a bit, a bit more exciting. Okay, and you guys, as you guys are answering this uh, on Kahoot, can you let me know in the chat, is my audio fine or am I too loud? I think it might be a bit too loud. So let me know if I should like lower my volume a little bit. All right, and let's see. All of your vids, thank you so much, Robbie. I really do appreciate you. You girl, shout out to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Audio is fine, audio is fine. It's good, it's good, it's good. You're kind of loud here. Let me lower it just like a pinch then. Uh, let's bring it down to 12. All right, cool. And the answer was zero. So let's see. What does the leaderboard look like? Gohar the Goat still in for Gohar, Neil, and Scornbull. Congrats, guys. Shane and Jimmy also on the top five. 109 players have reached answer streak three. That's what we love to see. So next question. Oh, humans and nervous have foot on another planet. Could you be the first? <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is a poll. Interesting. Would you ever want to go to space? I'm curious. I would love a shout out. I love your content. Duck, thank you so much for tuning in. Really do appreciate you. Welcome once again to the channel membership. 
Yo, yo, uh, yellow, yellow, yellow says, no, you're good. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so yes, no way. Maybe if I knew it was safer, I'm not sure. So go ahead and put, um, go ahead and vote. Let me know what you guys think. You helped me get better grades. Thank you so much. That honestly means a ton. I'm super happy to hear that. Okay, and most of you guys said yes. That's pretty, uh, pretty surprising. Uh, let's see, a lot of you guys said maybe if I knew it was safe. I feel like I'm probably in that boat. We can skip the video. Okay, so next question. How many space stations are currently orbiting Earth? Okay, one, two, three, or four. Okay, <laughs> so many people want to shout out right now. This is actually so funny. Um, here, shout out to Billy, Valerie, Hawk. Uh, let's see, who else wants to shout out? I think, I'll just, uh, Val, already did Valerie, cool. Go her, you got me into college. That's awesome. Wait, uh, where did you, like, where, which college did you get into? I'm curious. All right, and there we go. The correct answer is 87. Who got that? Okay, there we go. Top three, still the same. Love Finch and Dog now entering the leaderboard. Next question, true or false? Only male astronauts have been to space. Shout out to Hawk. Shout out to... Shout out to the Puggy 101. Uh, someone is asking for the Kahoot code. The Kahoot code is uh, at the bottom right over here. So if you guys are just tuning into the live stream, go to Kahoot.it, type in this pin, and yeah, you can join the you can join the game. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, be sure to join my Discord. I'll be hanging out there after the live stream. The link is pinned to the stream chat. Okay, and there we go. The answer is false. Most of you got that correct. Love to see it. And wow, the leaderboard just switched up a little bit. Busher now entering the top five, and he has the highest answer streak of five. Cool. And here we go, we have another slider question. The space stations take about 90 minutes to orbit Earth. Therefore, they orbit, orbit Earth how many times per day? What is the code? The code is 3877282 at the bottom over here. Shout out to... Valkyrie, thank you for tuning in. Shout out to Cine, shout out to your munchkin. Shout out to Cherry Girl. Thank you once again for tuning in. Okay, and maybe we can also do like a live Q&A. If you guys have any questions about like homework, about study tips, about college applications, uh, feel free to ask your questions in the stream chat and I'll answer them maybe as we're doing the Kahoot, but or maybe that'll get a bit too distracting. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Okay, lots of answers coming in. We, we are almost at 300 answers. Shout out to Areeb, thank you for tuning in. All right, three, two, one. And the correct answer is 16, oh wait, never mind. It's kind of, it's doing the whole uh, suspenseful reveal here. All right, oh, okay, so it is 16, cool. 16 orbits per day. And this right here is the distribution. 133 of you guys got it correct. And let's see, 11 players now hit the answer streak or hit an answer streak of four. Go hard the go, still in number one. That is super impressive. All right, question 12 of 25. Astronauts float in space because they don't experience any gravity, they experience microgravity, they have jet boots, or the space stations have an anti-gravity coating. Okay, I, once again, some of these questions are just kind of funny, like the options are just incredibly obvious, but uh, yeah, hopefully most of you guys get this correct. Shout out, please, shout out to Devish. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, there's an ad popping up? I'm so sorry about that. Uh, like the ads are automatically popping up. I'm not clicking like ad or anything. Like YouTube's, uh, YouTube's kind of doing that itself. All right, the answer is they experience microgravity. And 93 of you got it correct. Actually not, yeah, that, that probably was a little bit challenging to be honest. Wow, the leaderboard just switched up a, a lot. Uh, Gohar the Goat still in number one. And Lala is now making a comeback with three in a row. 
Roy, thank you so much for the for the super chat. Uh, go hard, do another stationary review. It's okay. So I'm glad that you mentioned that because not my next video, but my video after the next video is actually going to be a Korean stationary review. So stay tuned. Okay. So this question is. Uh, since astronauts float in sp the space stations, they use this tool to keep them in place while sleeping. Temporary glue, vel uh, Velcro st straps, magnets, or weights in their pajamas. Shout out to Doug. Shout out to Low Quality Meme. Shout out to Sarah. Thank you for tuning in. And the answer is Velcro straps. Pretty much almost everyone got that correct. Nice. Next question. Let's go ahead and skip the video. True or false? The space stations are in low Earth orbit and do not need to be sealed. Their air comes from the Earth. The Discord link is messed up. The R in Discord. Oh, wait. I ha yeah, thank you for catching that. The Discord link is messed up. So as you guys are answering this question, let me go ahead and fix this. Join my Discord. Yeah, I'm going to be hanging out in my Discord server after this live stream. So if you guys want to ask me questions or chat with me afterwards, feel free to join my Discord. I've gone ahead and pinned the link to the stream chat. Hopefully that link is now working. So let me know. All right, cool. The answer is false. 265 of you got that correct. And 20 players just, uh, I didn't catch that. They hit like a answer streak of five, I think it was. And next question, true or false, plants can grow on the space station. True or false. Shout out to Hassini. Thank you for tuning in. Roy's using the uh, the members only emojis. Love to see it. The, uh, the MIT emoji. Okay, we are almost at 300 answers here. And cool, 258. Go hard the goat, passing 10,000 points. All right, question 18, multi-select. When deciding what food to send to space, scientists consider which of the following, choose all that apply. Yellow, 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 just threw in a bunch of Harvard emojis, love to see it. <laughs> When is the next video coming? If you're talking about long form video, I'm hopefully the 12th or 13th. If we're talking uh, YouTube short, hopefully tomorrow. Okay, so how messy it'll be to eat in space, how quickly it'll spoil how balanced the nutrients are, or how likely it is to make astronauts burp. Shout out to Pop Linda. Shout out to... Let's see. Shout out to Flying Prod. Thank you for tuning in. All right, everyone wants a shout out. So all four were correct. Three players have reached an answer streak of 11. Oh, I just lagged a little bit right there. Okay, question 19. Which of these food items have astronauts brought to space? Salt and pepper, soda and sparkling water, bread or tortillas? Someone is asking, uh, shout out, did you go to Harvard? Well, first of all, shout out to the bus driver. I did not go to Harvard. I went to MIT, but my younger brother went to Harvard. Okay, let's see. Have you participated in ISIF? I personally have not, but a handful of people that I met at MIT did. I got an ad. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Once again, those are automatic. I, maybe there's a way I can change it, but we'll see. And there we go. The answer is tortillas. Uh, interesting. Three in a row. King Sam is back in the game. I love to see it. That's actually uh, pretty interesting. Cool. 
Next question. Do you think uh, do you think drink pouches or standard cups are less messy to drink from in space? All right. I feel like the answer is pretty obvious here, unless it's like some sort of a trick question. Let's see. Okay. Someone's saying go hard is high school hard. It, it, it is challenging to be honest. I mean, especially if you're taking a bunch of honors and AP courses, uh, compared to middle school. Yes. Like high school is a huge step up. Uh, 241 got that correct. Yep, the answer was uh, drink pouches. And Go Hard the Goat has the highest answer streak of 13. How many APs should you take uh, in all of high school for Stanford? So, if you're aiming for a top school, take as many as you can. Back in high school, I took like 12 AP classes. All right, so the purpose of space station uh, programs is to, and choose all that apply. Conduct science and microgravity environments, study how human health changes in space, improve our space engineering abilities, or promote public enthusiasm about space exploration. All right, what do you guys think? How many APs freshman year? I took zero my freshman year because freshmen weren't allowed to take AP classes at my high school. But I ended up taking two my sophomore year, which was as the max I could take. Um, and then I took like five junior year or four. Shout out to uh, Gemma. Thank you for tuning in. All right. And all four were correct. And it seems like a lot of you guys chose all four options, which is awesome to see. All right, second to last question, it's a poll. Would you want to be a space station astronaut? Yes, no, maybe, or I wanna go somewhere else. Roy is saying, go hard, these shout out messages are getting annoying. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> okay, that's fair, honestly, yeah. No more shout outs for the rest of the stream. We're gonna be playing some Kahoot. I will be answering your questions about colleges, about college applications, homework, study tips, whatever it is. But yeah, no more shout outs for the rest of the stream because I think everyone is just spamming shout out at this point. And let's see, most of you guys said yes, that's cool. And here we go. Oh, I think that was it, cool. And let's see the podium. So in number three, we have Scorn Bull with 14,144 points. Number two, Neo with 14,333. Uh, and in number one, <laughs> in number one, we have Go Hard the Goat with 15,786 points. Someone is saying, did you take AP Physics? I did not take AP Physics. My school did not offer that, uh, did not offer that class. All right, awesome. So that was pretty fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We can do another Kahoot as well. Here, let me know what you guys want to do. Someone is saying, can we do logos? We could, um, but I'm not sure if we can play that as a guest. Like the Museum of Science, a lot of these Kahoots you can play as a guest. All right, let me go ahead and hop back on the screen here. So we have a lot of options here. What do you guys want to do? Engineering, characters, geography. Here, let's see. So we have oceans, we have plants, animals. Hmm. Okay, I think we did a decent amount of space, like in the previous stream. We did, maybe we can do some climate. Here, which of these do you guys wanna do? We can do endangered animals, we can do rising sea level, or we can do extreme, extreme temperatures. So one of these three, what do you guys wanna do? I feel like I've been seeing a decent amount of animals in the stream chat, so maybe we'll, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of, uh, a lot of animals. Okay, so I think that might be it here. 
animals, animals. Cool, let's do it. Continue as guest. And let me go ahead and hide myself here. Okay, so the game is loading up. All right, and here is the pin, 738-4425. Okay, so as you guys are joining, I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions. Do you need extracurricular activities for MIT? You pretty much need extracurricular activities for every college because the college application, you know, one entire portion of it. Wow, this is this is kind of crazy to see. Uh, but yeah, one entire portion of the college application is just the activities list. And so, yeah, you have 10 spots and, you know, colleges generally expect you to have anywhere between like like four to like five-ish activities at the very least, usually. Um, I've seen a lot of students though, like fill up all 10 spots. Okay, this is, we have 400 players right now. Nice. Let's just go ahead and start the game. All right, cool. Losing ground. What makes animals endangered? How can we protect endangered animals? Next. Let's go ahead and skip that. First question. What does it mean when an animal is endangered? Okay. <laughs> Again, some of these questions are just like, incredibly obvious, but hopefully everyone gets this one correct. Roy's asking, are you gonna do the Mahad uh, x Xion gaming stream? I am gonna get Mahad and Xion on some future streams, hopefully. Maybe not gaming, but, but we'll see. For something for sure though. Okay, 300 of you guys, yep, there we go. Pretty much everyone got it correct. And in first place, we have uh, that person. <laughs> Second place, we have Neil again. Yo, sub Mr. Beast, and hi. Okay. Did you do newspaper club in high school? I did do newspaper club in high school. It was actually one of my main extracurricular activities. Uh, I became editor in chief, but let's see. So, which of these animals can become endangered? Choose all the correct answers. Is nine APs enough for top twenty schools? Nine is a good amount, and I think at the end of the day, if you're already taking most of the AP classes at your school, or if you're taking as many as you can each year, you're you're in a good spot. And yeah. All four were correct. Pretty much all of you guys uh, chose all four options. And there we go, Neil in number one. And uh, nice. True or false? Because there are thousands of emerald leopards in the wild, they are not endangered. What was your GPA? My unweighted was around a 98.5. My school did not do GPA on a 4.0 four, uh, scale, so... Yeah, but I think on a 4-0 scale, it would be a 4-0. All right, the answer is false. 186 players just hit, just hit an answer streak of three. Next question. Which word means the place where an animal lives? Pradeep says your Discord is so helpful. I'm glad to hear. And by the way, guys, I'll be hanging out in my Discord after this live stream. So once again, click on the pinned link to join my Discord server. We have 150,000 students in the server. We have homework help channels, college app channels, um, you know, a bunch of resources to help you out in high school. All right, so which word means the place where an animal lives? Endangered habitat, mammal, or pollution? I hope most of you guys get this correct. And wow. I think this is the question that almost everyone has gotten correct so far. Single digits for the other options. That is, that's incredible. Wow, okay, nice. Of 44 places, University of Washington is the highest climber, or University of W. I'm just assuming they met um, Washington. Okay, which things do animals need in their habitats? Choose all the correct answers. All right. 
air to breathe, food to eat, shelter, or water to drink. Your Discord link says invalid. Maybe Google Gohar's Guide Discord and like it'll the correct link will pop up. Sophomore AP Calc. Yeah, AP Calc sophomore year is solid. I took AP Calc, I think my junior year because once again, couldn't take it earlier. And wow, the, almost everyone chose all four options. 171 players have hit an answer streak of five. Next question, true or false, all animals live in the same kind of habitat. I think this has to be like the easiest Kahoot we have done on a live stream so far. True or false. And by the way, guys, I see a lot of questions in the stream chat. If I don't answer your question in the live stream, feel free to DM me on Instagram. My handle is Gohar's Guide. Again, I answer a handful of questions every single day. Or you can also just join my Discord server, chat with me there after the live stream. All right, the answer is false. Most of you guys got that correct. Advice for getting into Stanford, sure. Uh, you know, I'll answer that after maybe. I feel like it, it'll take me a while to kind of give all my thoughts correctly. So what is the most common cause of animals becoming endangered? Being hunted, getting sick, living with pollution, or losing their habitats? Should I do AP European history next year for my sophomore year? I mean, I think a lot of these questions are super personal, right? Like I can't, it's hard for me to answer without knowing your strengths and weaknesses and what you enjoy doing and what other classes you're taking. So what I can say is this, AP Euro is, from at least what I've heard, a pretty challenging class. But if you enjoy history and if you're trying to get into top schools, I say go for it. I, I say, you know, like, take the challenge on. Um, I feel like it's always worth it in the end, usually. And the correct answer is losing their habitats. Next question. Up 93 spots. Olivia, congrats. All right, so the next question is, if a habitat gets smaller, what happens? Fewer animals can live there. More animals can live there. The same number of animals can live there. And those are your three options. What is the pin? The pin is at the bottom of the screen. 738-44-25. We should do blue kit. I, isn't, that's pretty much the same thing as Kahoot, right? I'm, I've never really... Maybe I've used it once or played it once, but I don't really recall. Okay, the correct answer is fewer animals can live there. And once again, <laughs> pretty much everyone got this correct. Let's go ahead and skip this video. All right, quiz multi-select. Which can be types of pollution? Choose all the correct answers. Okay, so we got some images here. Oh, yep, okay, so you guys can see all four of them, nice. All right, my school doesn't do class rankings. Will this affect my chances? Nope, that will not affect your chances. Roy, this is so easy. I, I agree. <laughs> this is definitely the easiest one, easiest Kahoot we have done. And look at that. Almost identical. Almost everyone chose all four. Okay. Oh, we have a different kind of a puzzle plus double points. Put these steps in order with the first at the top and the last at the bottom. Is a B bad for MIT? One B will not be the end of the world. Assuming, you know, you have A's in like the rest of your classes. And if you're also taking like the most challenging classes at your school. Like one B, you'll probably be okay. Is Mahat Khan related to this guy? Yes, Mahat Khan is my younger brother. Okay, what other questions do we have? What's the easiest AP class for freshmen? That's a good question. Mm, first thought that comes to mind, AP Environmental Science, AP Psych maybe? I feel like AP Psych was a lot of 
just memorization. All right, and there we go. 221 of you got this correct. Roy, uh, go ahead, did you meet some IOI gold medals during your days in MIT? Yep, they were plenty of uh, just medalists. IOI, IMO, uh, ICHO, or I, I don't know how to pronounce that one, but yeah, plenty, plenty of Olympiad medalists. All right, eight, player, eight players have an answer streak of six. Next question, true or false? In most places, the brown pelican is no longer endangered. True or false? Someone is saying, Gohar, I'm taking a college level class on neuroscience. I'm a sixth grader. <laughs> well, first of all, congrats. I mean, that that's super impressive. Uh, hopefully it's going well. The answer is true. Wow, most people said false. I think this is like the first question that has tripped up uh, most of the live stream. And yeah, the leaderboard just switched up pretty significantly. Neil, though, is still in first place. Next question, multi-select. Which of these actions can help animals? Choose all the correct answers. Cleaning up pollution, planting trees to make a habitat bigger, taking care of local habitats, or throwing away trash correctly. How can we join? Uh, the link is kahoot.it. And this is the pin. Is language is useful? If by that you're asking like, should you take a foreign language? Yes. I think many colleges like to see at least several years of, you know, a, a certain foreign language. And yep, pretty much everyone got that correct. And here is the podium. So in third place, we have Ride App with 15,192 points. In second place, we have Cool with 15,496. And in first place, we have Neil with 15,639 points. Congratulations, Neil. Okay, now that the Kahoot is over, I want everyone to come back into the chat and uh, and say like, GG Neil. How about that? Let's congratulate Neil for his win. There we go. <laughs> it's so funny because during the games, like the chat slows down, but as soon as it ends, I feel like it just speeds up. like. Incredibly. Okay, there we go. GG Neil. Yep, there we go. Nice. Okay, so we have other cahoots as well. Math quiz next. You guys want to do a math one? Okay, so we can do... We have climate, we have weather, we have matter... I feel like matter could be fun. Do you guys want to do matter? Say yes or no in the stream chat. Okay. What's matter? States of matter and properties. Yes, sure. Hmm. Okay, I want to see one that looks... No, no. Here, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a poll. Uh, should we do a matter kahoot? Yes or no? I'm going to go ahead and start the poll. Go ahead and answer. And if the majority says yes, we'll go ahead and choose. I think... Hmm. I think states of matter. I think this is like a simple one. I think this one will be fun because I'm assuming it's going to be like super easy. And for that reason, I feel like it's going to be like an interesting competition. So let's see. Majority says yes. Okay, so let's do states of matter and properties. Continue as guest. And this one is going to be all about speed in my opinion. So go ahead and join. Game is beginning. 337-2968. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. <laughs> so I'm saying boo in the stream chat. <laughs> but don't worry. Like if you don't want to, if, you, if you're not gonna, sorry. Uh, if you're not a fan of matter, 
it's all good because it's only like uh, like 14 questions, so not too many. All right. At 350, we'll go at maybe 400. Will this touch 400? Let's just wait and see. Okay, so maybe 350. Uh, yeah, 350 will be it. Cool. Okay, states of matter and properties. Okay. Which of these is true about states of matter? All matter can change states. Some matter can change states and some cannot. No matter ever changes states. It is impossible to know whether matter can change states. Ariane is asking, do colleges care about your class rank? You said to look at a college's common data set, but some of them say class rank is not considered. I mean, at the end of the day, like your rank isn't what really matters. It's more so just like your individual grades and classes, the rigor of classes that you're taking. Like the rank is more of like a superficial metric to be fully honest. So like, don't worry about your exact rank. Just kind of worry, think more about your individual grades and your rigor. And there we go. A lot of you guys got this correct. In first place, we have Scornbull. And let's go to the next question. True or false? All matter changes states at the same temperatures. All right, and I see there are a lot of questions in the stream chat. Once again, if you are just tuning in, I'll be hanging out in my Discord server right after the stream. I'll be answering some questions there and feel free to also uh, DM me on Instagram. So the answer is false. Most of y'all got that correct. And now we have a slider question. What is the freezing point of water in degrees Celsius? Are you related to Sal Khan? I am not. But Sal Khan is, uh, is the GOAT. I've talked to him a couple times actually. All right, and the answer is, let's see. Wait for it to go, and it is zero degrees, which most of you guys seem to have gotten correct. 214, nice. Okay, so we have another slider question. Now, what is the boiling point of water in degrees Celsius? Okay. What are the extracurriculars you did in high school? I'll list off my main ones. My first one was web development. Uh, ran a bunch of websites, became sort of like a business uh, that I ran throughout like high school. Another extracurricular was newspaper club, became editor in chief, did a little bit of research and uh, had a few others, but those are the main ones. And there we go, 100 degrees, 243, got that one correct. Up 109 spots. Nihal, congratulations. All right, question eight of 14. Which property describes how much matter bounces back a light? Boiling point, melting point, uh, reflectivity or transparency. Should I do AP Physics or AP Chem next year? <laughs> I think, so if I had those options, I would probably do AP Chem first because I feel like it's a slightly easier class, but and at the same time, you still get the weighting of the AP on your transcript. Okay, so reflectivity, most of y'all got that correct. Next question. 
Which property describes how much matter lets light pass through it? How did you get into an Ivy League? So I still remember that other person's question about Stanford and this one about the Ivy League. I might answer that question um, right after this game or both questions after this game. All right, so boiling point, melting point, reflectivity or transparency. And transparency. Most of y'all got that correct as well. 41 players just hit an answer streak of five. And next question, multi-select. Which properties does a mirror have? Choose all the correct answers. Roy is asking, is running next admit your full-time job now? Yeah, uh, along with social media. I think half of what I do is like content and the other half is running next admit. And yeah, by the way, guys, if you are a junior and need help with your college essays this fall, check out nextadmit.com. Okay, so which properties does a mirror have? Go ahead and lock your answers in. And high reflectivity and low transparency. Nice. Okay, question 12. We are almost at the end. True or false? At room temperature, water and wood are in different states of matter. What did you do as your grad project at MIT? I did not have a grad project, so. Okay, true or false? And the answer is true. Scramble in first place. And question 13, multi-select. Which properties does water have? Choose all the correct answers. What was your major at MIT? Uh, so I double majored. My first one was computer science, economics and data science. And my second one was business analytics. Did you ever do an MIT hack? I never did a hack myself, though I wish but I wish I got involved with one, to be honest. Okay, cool. High reflectivity and high transparency. And final question, multi-select as well. Which properties does wood have? Choose all the correct answers. All right, this is it. Go ahead and lock in your answers. What is your normal day job? So I run Next Admit, which is a college consulting company. And then I also, of course, do social media. And my time is split half and half between the two, really. All right, and there we go. A low reflectivity and low transparency. And here is the podium. In third place, we have I with 9,600 points, KM 97, or practically 98. And in first place, we have Scornbull with 90, almost 10,000 points. So super impressive. Congrats, guys. Uh, Roy is saying, can you make videos with Sean? Uh, Make content with Sean, he's such a vibe, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could, yeah. You can definitely find ways to collab. Are you the founder of Khan Academy? I am not. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people think so, but uh, unfortunately not, and I'm also not related to Salicon. All right, cool. So that was a ton of fun. I, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, all those Kahoot games. Now I can answer some questions that you might have. I'll answer the one about the Ivy League maybe, and then I'll uh, I'll see what we can do. Okay, so a lot of people were asking about how to get into an Ivy League and how to get into Stanford. So I'll answer it quickly because I don't want to like bore everyone here, but 
couple main components that you got to think of. First and foremost, you know, your grades come first. GPA, you know, your standardized test scores, if you choose to submit them, probably like the most important things that you have to consider to kind of even be considered in the first place. Uh, and then of course you also have course rigor. But ultimately, like the reality is these schools have thousands and thousands of kids applying with perfect GPAs, with perfect test scores. So while it's important to have those, so like you're in the running, what will actually get you accepted are your extracurricular activities, your essays, and even potentially your college interviews. And that's where I think a lot of students should spend most of their focus during high school, um, outside of school, of course, you know, on extracurriculars. So think about, you know, certain passions that you might have. Think about, you know, certain hobbies that interest you and go deep in like one to two of these activities for almost all of high school. And your goal is to essentially become one of the best um, at whatever passion you have. Of course, I can dive deeper into this. I can talk about this for like 10, 15, 20 minutes, but uh, I guess now, now is not really the time. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up tonight's stream. Once again, if you wanna chat with me after this, I'm uh, heading to my Discord server real soon. Link is pinned to the stream chat. Uh, you can also DM me your questions on Instagram. My handle is Gohar's Guide. And before I wrap off, you know, I kind of wanna do another live stream tomorrow. So what do you guys wanna do tomorrow? So I can do, Kahoot. we can do Kahoot again, to be honest. I can also do like a different game. We can do like Neil.fun, we can do Minecraft, we can do many other things as well. I think a few people have said Fortnite though. I don't think that really, that, I don't think that's really on brand for this channel, but Kahoot, Kahoot. Okay, everyone's saying Kahoot, Minecraft, Kahoot Q&A. We might do a Minecraft Q&A, so that way I can just answer like questions instead of just, um, you know, hosting a Kahoot. Um, it, uh, Amrit is asking, did you take 309-1 at MIT? I did. Okay, it's funny you answer that because I do have a funny 309-1 story that I could tell before I end off the stream. Do you guys want to hear the story? Okay, and yeah, it seems like a lot of you guys are saying Minecraft. So here's what I think. I think tomorrow's stream will be Minecraft plus a Q&A because today I didn't really do much of a Q&A and I know a lot of you guys are asking questions. So I think that is the plan. Yes, okay, so 3091. Let's see. Solid state chemistry. I took that class my freshman year at MIT. And overall, it was a really fun class. It was... Um, I wasn't super hard, but I think my funniest story comes from, I think it was like the second or third class. So I'm sitting in lecture and you know, it's like a normal lecture. Like I nothing, there's nothing odd about the environment. I'm kind of just taking my notes, you know, and then I leave class. And as I'm walking out of class, I notice that there are like a hundred people crowding outside of the lecture hall. And I'm, I'm super confused, right? I'm kind of just standing there wondering, like, why is everyone here? Like, what's going on? And I see, like, all these people, like, trying to cram into the lecture hall. And I could tell these people weren't just trying to, like, go to, like, the next lecture. Like, there was, like, something happening inside the hall. And, you know, some people tap me on the shoulder. They start asking me questions. They're like, yo, did you actually see him? Like, was he actually in there? And I'm wondering to myself, I'm, I'm like, who are they talking about? Like, who, like, who was in there? And so I turn around, I walk back into the lecture hall, and I see Jaden Smith. Weirdest experience of my life. Um, so yeah, apparently Jaden Smith sat in on a 3091 lecture while I was there. And I kid you not, the entire lecture was so normal. Like, I couldn't even tell Jaden Smith was in the class until the class ended. And maybe that just tells you a little bit Maybe that tells you a little something about what MIT students are like. Um, we had like a celebrity in the room and everyone was just focused on the lecture, just taking notes, just kind of concentrating. Um, but yeah, so I saw Jaden Smith. I tried to go up to him to take a picture. Didn't get the chance to do that because he was just getting completely swarmed. But I did like bump shoulders with him, 
which was which was cool. But um, yeah, three hundred nine one, a very fun class, uh, and I guess a kind of a weird one as well. <laughs> All right, cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick story. Uh, I'll see you guys again probably tomorrow night for another live stream. But yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in.